Hello there. Do you recall a couple of months ago there was a documentary that came out on Stuff Circuit? Fire and Fury, which was put together by the brilliant Paula Penfold after a huge amount of research, and they did some really interesting things with how they created the content and the story that they put forward. Now, if you haven't seen it already, one, I recommend that you do. Two, it's about the people who are spreading misinformation and disinformation around the pandemic, and what it is that they get out of it, how they go about doing it. And they made the really controversial decision not to put them on screen to give them the right of reply for a couple of really specific reasons. And a lot of it came down to research on how to make sure that you are mitigating the balance between giving people information and not giving these people a platform to go and continue doing what they're doing, which can cause serious harm. Now, as you can imagine, there were a few people that were upset about this because they felt it wasn't fair and balanced, which is something that is required by the Media Council for material that goes out. Well, the other day the Media Council decided it was going to release its findings about the seven complaints that they got. They decided not to uphold any of the complaints at all. And there were some really interesting reasons behind it. And they went through and they explained what they were. They explained what Stuff's perspective was on it and why they didn't do things like give people the right of reply. And some of the complainants were, let's just call them a little interesting. For example, Amanda Vickers, who was listed on there, her complaint was really detailed about all the times that they were called fascists and all of the misinformation that was in there and how it was wickedly evil and spread, none of which was actually in the documentary upon review. She was just really, really upset with all her graphs, planning and documents that she'd put together, which didn't prove anything. Now, the thing I found most fascinating about this was that people have a right to lay a complaint of that in that documentary. And so when the complaints came forward, there were a couple of people that were very much missing. Very much. For example, Counterspin didn't put in a complaint. Voices for Freedom refused to fix up their complaint so it actually met the criteria for being submitted. The Freedom and Rights Coalition didn't lay a complaint. And Damien Dement did lay a complaint late. So it wasn't counted, it wasn't submitted. But the Media Council upheld all of what the reporters had done and said that there was really no grounds for complaints as far as they're concerned. It was, considering what was going on, an even and balanced report, which is really good to see because that's a really important documentary to show people who might be falling down the rabbit hole. Give it a shot, Fire and Fury, it's on Stuff Circuit now.